Seminole junior Alex Powers is vying to become the eighth Florida State player to be selected as the ACC Player of the Year after two years removed from her second ACL tear. It says a lot about her in the sense of I'm not going to let this be an excuse for uh, what I have ahead of me and I'm going to give everything I have of it, but she took it as an opportunity. Now she's got career numbers in almost every offensive category and leads the team in batting average and hits, including 13 home runs with 54 RBIs along with a 717 slugging percentage. She's also in the top five of the ACC in six offensive categories. Numbers no one could have expected. No, in all honesty, no. Uh, she's, I mean, I'm so proud of her. It's, it definitely lends to the highlights, you know, that as athletic trainers we experience. She's just, it's great to see her get up to bat and just, you know, battle and, um, I mean, break windows during practice, you know, of <laughs> cars that are in the parking lot. Um, but she's, I, in all honesty, I didn't think that she'd come back the way that she did that quickly. I mean, I'm quicker, stronger, just everything now. I'm a lot smarter. That year um, that I redshirted after the first knee helped me so much. And it's funny because a lot of people think of injury as like a disaster, but it really is the best thing that ever happened to me. Through adversity, through tearing her ACL, through finding out who she really is, she's gained confidence and be able to swing the bat right now. But it wasn't easy at the time. Ten months after tearing the first ACL, Powers tore the other. It came right at a time her grandmother passed away. It was a really hard time in my life because I didn't have um, my parents there for my second surgery, so I did that alone, and uh, I was very close with my grandma, and she ended up passing away. It's such a mental thing on her part that that's why it's so, so impressive for her to just be like, so what, here we go. And, and do the work that she's done has really, really been impressive. Especially when you take into consideration that within four months of her second surgery, Powers was back on the field swinging. The mental fortitude to bounce back not only translates to impressive numbers, but she's also become one of the strongest and fastest on the team. Seeing her come back from this injury or both injuries is just amazing because she's come back and she's come back well. She's a lean mean machine you know like I think about and it's not that she was out of shape when she first got to Florida State but she's just really honed in on um, improving her skills on improving her fitness on improving agility you know um, it's just it's she's a specimen that's for sure. She didn't just take oh I'm gonna be the hitter I wanted to come here and be and everyone knew I could be. She took I'm gonna be the best athlete possible I can be uh, in the classroom, off the field, on the field, everywhere and I think that came from the opportunity of um, an ACL tear which is crazy to say but it is really she has found out who she is and she's so confident in it right now it, it's just a uh, it's outstanding to see. I do feel this sense of, of pride and it's a, it's a huge team effort from the coaches to Eunice to Jerry um, but I, I think we all kind of watch her with that same kind of gleam of, of oh, we're just so proud of this kid that's really been a joy to work with. And for Powers, it's a joy to be able to be out on the diamond healthy once again. I love softball, everything about softball, and it's been my life for so long, and now I just really feel like I take every opportunity and every experience in and just really soak everything I can up because it means so much to me and it's pushed me to be who I am today.